in the back. She's jumping out of her seat. We've got to help her out. With no respect to Whitney Houston, but while I left the platform at half past when many New Jersey veterans died every day and aren't given that honor, plus they did a lot for this country. Well, every military person who is killed in action, we lower the flag at half staff for that. So every active military person in New Jersey, whether they're active Army or Navy or Air Force or Marines or Coast Guard, or whether they're in the New Jersey National Guard, either the Army National Guard or the Air National Guard, if they're killed in action, I lower the flag for every one of them. And so we do that. Because uh, I agree with you, they've given the ultimate sacrifice for our country and for our state, and they deserve that respect. Now, as far as Whitney Houston goes, we also lower the flag for other people. We lower the flag for famous, important New Jerseyans, who have contributed a lot to our state in one way or the other, um, who have died. So we lowered the flag for Whitney Houston because she was born in New Jersey and she was raised in New Jersey and she lived most of her life in New Jersey. And she contributed greatly, I thought, to our culture. We can't just worry about one particular way that you contribute to making our state better because there's lots of different ways that you contribute to it. And I think that Whitney Houston, through what she did and her talent and the way she used her talent, helped to contribute to make our state a better place. And so we wanted to honor her when she died by lowering the flag to half staff. And some people disagree with that. I understand that. But um, I'm the governor, so I get to decide. <laughs> okay? And I think that um, there are lots of different ways to contribute to the life of our state. And for famous and important New Jerseyans who have given a lot to our state in one way or the other, you know, I think we should do that. I also lowered the flag at half staff for Clarence Clemens, the saxophone player for Bruce Springsteen when he died. 